Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for this great night of service. Hallelujah. At the landing center. Amen. Hallelujah. For what God is doing in central Florida. I thank God for this young man as the Lord used him. Hallelujah. He, don't, he doesn't remember, but I, I try to remember some things. I remember in 2011, I went to Queens, the Queens office. I at that time, and he was in the audience. At that time, Bishop Matches was the leader of the church there. And I went there myself and, and Bishop Thunder. Bishop Thunder was the main speaker, but I was there. And when we were finished, we prophesied Japan earthquake. Japan earthquake was prophesied before it prophesied at headquarters. Right there. But what I remember about this young man, you know, uh, I called for people to come to the altar and I lay hand upon him. And I lay hand up, and I, as I lay hand upon him, he just dropped to the ground. You don't remember nothing. You don't remember nothing. I said, what happened to this young man? So it, it seemed like he enjoyed it, so he come back again. <laughs> and I lay hand upon him, and he just dropped to the ground. I said, but now I understand what happened. He don't remember nothing. He, he preached so official now. He's so ministerial, you know, but it's okay. The hunger for God. Come on, it will change your life. It will change your life. To come out of the, the protocols, those boring, listen, protocols. Of his kingdom. My God, God calling in Mark 7 13, traditions of men. The young men man say, I don't care. I want it again. Come on. And now we are seeing why. Yes. Glory to God. Of great of greater to tell you. Listen. Young man. I'm releasing the spirit of Timothy upon you. Timothy. I'm releasing upon you in the name of Jesus. You see? Thank you. You see, folks, though, folks, we just want to hear something a little, a little more than what we know. and That's one of the most terrible things. You can ever desire now. We're not ready for something that's going to shake the world like God raised up a city, world over a city, never seen in the world. And folks could not conceive it. One good, mighty man of God in New York said, I didn't believe it could happen. In his sermon, he preached it. He said, It's not going to happen. He preached it two weeks ago. So we are like that. It's a little different from what we know. But the city was never here. It was never in the world. Never heard of. But it is here. Say amen. Say amen. And watch this now. What you see going on in the world. Moses can't angle it. God will tell you stuff. Listening to me. We just want you what we want to hear. I said, what's going on now? Moses can't handle it. They're using hormone to, to prevent the puberty of, of children. Are you serious? What do you call it? Puberty blockers? Are you serious? And we don't do one year of prayer for it? This stuff it's not a play. Listen. Oh Lord. No, I was too long last night. I don't want to be too long. Right, let, me, let me just be short. What's going on there now? What's going on there now? Moses is not going to handle it well. I'm just telling you. Are you there? You need Joshua. Yeah, listen to me. You need Joshua. Most of us. Don't you see most of the older preachers talking funny? 
We have funny talk going on right now. You need Joshua. You need Elisha. Stand up, everybody. You need Timothy. Try to get me. Try to get me. I decided I can't. Last I was too long and I felt bad about it. You need, you don't hear what I said? You're a mature church. And hopefully mature people watching. Moses will be there for you. Come on, somebody. Elijah will be there for you. Yeah. Paul will be there for you. But get up, Timothy. Get up, Timothy. Get up, Elisha. I didn't say Ja. I said Sha. Get up, Joshua. Moses' hand need lifting. Oh my God. This morning I was, you know, all these mighty things happened. I was at home. And I just said to myself, I wish somebody just, would just know I need prayer. I, I didn't even say my wife because I was out with the kids outside for many hours, you know, the grandkids. And I just said, I wish somebody would just know I need prayer. You know? God Bishop can call and say, could you please pray for me? I said, and he is our leader. What is that? Are you there? I said, I just need prayer. No, I wish somebody would know and show up to church. Come on. And it's the exact thing. It's the exact thing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because it's not a Moses thing. You're not getting me. It's not a Moses thing. You will miss your work. You'll be waiting on Moses to deal with no stuff. Get up, Joshua. Get up, Elisha. Get up, Timothy. Is your old Paul talking to Timothy? Timothy was Paul talking to Timothy like he was a boy. But later on in the same book, he said, You're a man of God. So even though, oh my God. You are raised up by God. You have to get a lot of word in you. You see that amount of word that Paul put in, in, in Timothy. He said, don't listen to vain janglings. He said, the prophecy that came upon you by the presbytery, don't forget it. He said, fight the good fight of faith. He said, lay hold. Paul was saying, it's your time. Father, I release this upon the people. The spirit of Joshua. Elijah and Timothy to arise. Quit waiting. My God, quit waiting on Moses. Quit waiting on Elijah. Quit waiting on Paul. And arise. And do what they can do. In respect and honor. But do what they can. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus.